Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Saturday, the 30th of January, 2021, all right? So I'm going to pull a major theme and energy for, for t Saturday, and let's see what energies you guys might be experiencing. All right. I'm still kind of doing the moon theme, you guys, because, it, you know, this, like I said, this uh, wolf moon in Leo is very strong, all right? <laughs> all right, so we have alchemy. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pull a Queen of the Moon Oracle as well. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Alright, so we have the energy of realization. Saturday the 30th. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> so we have the Ten of Swords that was already upright in the deck here. Very interesting. I'm not going to lay it down. We'll see if it comes back up. Okay. If it's meant to, it will. of Pentacles, the King of Swords, we have the Magician, we have, wow, we have the High Priestess, we have the Princess of Cups, the Hermit, and the Prince of Swords. What a magical weekend, okay, Saturday. Uh, I feel like this is going to carry over into Sunday as well. Maybe even into next week. Very nice. Okay. So what we have here, we have number wise. Okay. We have a beginning because we have the number three right here with realization. That's the card number. And we have one, two, three. Okay. Okay. So definitely the beginning of events. And then we have the master number 11 coming through here as well. And I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation, okay? What I love about this is that we have the magician, the high priestess, and alchemy here, as well as the hermit. So we're definitely talking about a time of reflection. Some of you are really going to be going within on Saturday and, you know, doing a review on what maybe you need to release or let go of, okay, that's no longer serving you. Some of you are definitely taking advantage of this uh, Leo full moon, and you are manifesting at this time. And I tell you what, like I said, it's going to be very powerful, because you have alchemy right here, and this is like temperance, okay, uh, the energy of Sagittarius right here coming through, and this is you balancing your energies, um, you know, doing the inner work, the great work. This is definitely, you know, with the magician being here as well, you are definitely creating some type of change to come into your reality. I feel like I can see you you know, setting your crystals out um, in the moon, cleansing them, looking up at the moon, moon gazing, you know, and speaking your intentions, what it is that you want, what you desire 
for some of you, this is, you know, you see a situation headed in the wrong direction and you're trying everything that you, I feel like you've tried everything that you possibly can physically to keep it from, you know, happening and it's still, you know, looks like it's going to end up the way you don't want it. So I feel like you are desperate. That's the word I'm looking for, desperate here. And you are definitely communicating to the universe and, you know, being very serious and setting your intentions of wanting to cause change here. And I feel like time is of the essence. There's a need for it to, for this to come to fruition and manifest very quickly. And I tell you what, you've got a lot of powerful energies in this uh, reading right here. And I do see it taking place. I feel like you're going to get what it is that you're asking for. Okay. For some of you, you're going to get this. And this is the first time that you've really, you know, manifested. That you really meant it and, you know... You put all your energy and effort into this manifestation, communicating what it is, and it's going to come to fruition and it's going to shock you. You're going to realize how powerful you are. You're going to realize that, oh my goodness, I'm part of the divine. You know, I, I am, you know, powerful. I, I can create my own reality, but you have to really want what it is that you're wanting to bring in to your life and not only want it, but claim it and, you know, take action and going in the direction of achieving it. Definitely balance between the material and the spiritual realms. Um, you guys, with realization here, this is very interesting. I can't wait to see what the book says. But when you have balance between the spiritual and material realm, you can create a lot of abundance in your life. You can create what it is that you, your heart's desire is. And I love that this is the number three, okay, because threes represent growth and expansion. With this energy right here, it's <laughs> so neat. It's the uh, energy of the waxing crescent one, okay, and we will look this up. And it says realization, and you see that? It's a keyhole. You see that? Isn't that neat? All right, I'm curious to see what this is about here. All right, so we have Waxing Crescent One, Realization. With self-awareness comes realization. Knowledge is power. Self-examination of your role within a situation is important. I have timely self-awareness and act upon my realizations. As we move into the early waxing cycle, light begins to shine upon the shadows, illuminating what is. This is the beginning of a powerful process, realization. When we decide to really examine our lives without fear or favor, it can be hard. This is no doubt an act of courage. We might not like what we discover after all, yet without self-awareness and the will to act upon those realizations, whether we perceive them as negative or positive, we do not get to change and grow. The realization that we have a pattern, a bad habit or a behavior that is causing us pain is a powerful position. Even though we may feel worry and pain around this discovery, we can then take personal responsibility to change our situation since we know our current position. Knowing ourselves more completely enables us to accept ourselves more readily and dare to love exactly who we really are. Now, there is a companion stone uh, or metal that goes with this, and it's aventurine. Aventurine. Isn't that powerful? So, yes. Um, what I was uh, being, the information I was given from my guides, okay, when... I was drawing the cards and looking at these energies right here as well. There's a lot of inner work being done, uh, being taken place. You guys are definitely, um, I feel like not only Saturday, but Sunday, you're going to be in a deep state of, you know, connecting with your higher self. Um, it very well could be some of you are going to go into hermit mode. I do feel some of you are definitely thinking about 
uh, getting together with like-minded individuals, having discussions, okay? I feel like, you know, the, a spiritual path can be very, very lonely because a lot of times when we awaken, there's really not anybody around us that is, okay? It seems like that's how it happens. <laughs> and, you know, it, it, it does. It makes it really, really discouraging and it makes it very lonely. But there are people that you can reach out to. Um, you just have to look. You have to seek. Okay? Now, we have the Eight of Pentacles with the High Priestess. Powerful energies. Okay? You know, <laughs> some of you have definitely mastered a... A, a spiritual gift okay when I say that you you are so good at it, it you're uh, sharing it with others it, it's it allows you to be able to help people along their path you know the eight of Pentacles is all about mastery now for some of you definitely could have uh, got a master's degree a bachelor's degree maybe an associate's degree any type of certificate uh, this can also represent, you know, you deciding to, you know, go for it, start your own business, take your skill, and be your own boss. You know, the Eight of Pentacles tells me that you are highly skilled, okay? You are very good at what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? And it brings in financial flow, or it's going to bring in financial flow and abundance into your life. As long as you are doing this, you are going to have money, and it's it's good money, okay? With the High Priestess here, it's definitely, you know, you guys have listened to your intuition and you've been guided down a certain path or direction and that is what has led you to this mastery no matter what the circumstances are, okay? I do feel... something that has been hidden within you is coming to the light this weekend and I'm, I'm grinning you guys some of you are definitely stepping into a powerful uh, spiritual gift okay um, it, it's almost like you're foggy right now let's let's say it's your third eye okay you know sometimes you know you've had uh, you've seen things before you, you've you've had premonitions or you've seen things play out in your mind but it has it doesn't happen but once, you know, in a blue moon, okay, it goes years apart before you, you do something like that. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Your third eye is com completely open up, and you're just going to see. You're going to know, okay? And it's been, it's been there all along, but now it is your time. And that could be any spiritual gift, you guys. Um, it, and it could be a spiritual gift that is new, and you just wake up, and boom, it's there, okay? And that's how... That's how it happens. It happens when we're ready, when we can handle it, when we're ready, okay, and embrace it. If it scares you or if if you don't, you know, understand, reach out. There are people that can help you, okay. Um, look for a mentor. Don't run from it. <clears throat> don't run from it. All right, I love this right here, okay. So we have... The Ace of Pentacles, okay, with the Princess of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Definitely talking about uh, a new money path, a new beginning of prosperity, reward for effort right here. As long as you nurture this seed, it will continue to grow. It will expand. You can take it all the way up to the King of Pentacles if you like. It's all about what you want to put into it. You know, and you've listened to your intuition. I feel like your intuition has guided you to this money path. It could be a career, a business idea, or opportunity, okay? Now, I see a pregnancy right here. Um, you know, you're finding out that you're going to be a mother. I feel like this is your first child. Um, you know, it, it's a good, exciting times for you. And don't, it's going to be okay. I feel like you're, you're nervous. Um, I do feel like you're young. I feel like you're 17, 18 years old. You're going to be a wonderful mother, okay? Just um, don't stress yourself out worrying, okay? Just know that you're, you're 
everything's going to be fine. And congratulations to you. Okay, and congratulations. Now, I see a new love as well, you guys. The beginning of a new love that's going to be very... It's like your cup runneth over. Just, you know, and I feel like this is for an older um, man and woman. I feel like you've already been married, had children, divorced, and, you know, now you're ready to love again. You're ready to have a, you know, relationship. And when you meet this person, when you two meet, okay, it's you're going to feel like school kids, okay? That's that type of energy I'm getting. You're going to be giddy, giggling. It's just, it's an amazing uh, new beginning here for you. And you deserve it. You deserve it. All right, so we have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy with the Hermit, the energy of Virgo, okay? The King of Swords, whether you're male or female, is that energy of self-awareness, having strong willpower, being very smart, intelligent, using your mind and your intuition to, you know, to make decisions, to, this is what I'm getting right here. You're going to know if this message is for you, okay? Archangel Michael is present in your life. He's protecting you and wants to connect with you. You need to go within, go into hermit mode and connect, okay? Um, there's something you're not seeing, okay? And Archangel Michael wants to show you this. You're watching this. That's why this is coming through. You're watching this. You need an answer. You're at a crossroads. You don't know what to do. And you know that if you make the wrong decision, okay, it's not going to be good for everyone involved. Very interesting. And Archangel Michael, you have called upon him before. That's your go-to Archangel. Well, he is with you and wants you to go within, meditate, connect. Give him five minutes and he will show you, okay? I'm getting, there will be a vision coming in through, in your mind's eye, okay? And you'll know, all right? Okay, now, that was for one of you. You know who you are. Please leave me a comment and let me know, okay? Very, I, I love confirmation just as much as you guys. All right, so what I'm picking up here is, you know, you guys have recently, for some of you, had to release and let go of people, places, things, anything or anyone that didn't have your best heart and interest, you've released. You've let them go. You're done, okay? You're looking out for number one right here. You know, you understand that you've got to take time to do you and see the big picture. And you have a lot of clarity right now. You can see through people. You can see through their intentions. Um, and I feel like you were blinded before. You, you, These are like realizations that you're having, okay? Not only within yourself, but within other people. And that's what's allowing for you to be able to release and let go and it not be such a big deal for you, okay? Where it may have been before. It, it may have just broke your heart that you had to, you know, end a friendship or not really end it, but just not continue it, okay? Um, this, this needed to happen, okay? This really needed to happen. And I feel like for some of you, this is that gift I'm talking about. It, it's that inner knowing. It, it's that, you know, seeing things for what they really are. And I'm going to tell you something. This is also represents, you know, you seeing things within you that you may not 
uh, particularly care for either but you've got to learn to accept who you are okay don't be ashamed of who you are we have good days we have bad days all right and that's why it's important to do that spiritual alchemy and balance the good and the bad okay the light and and the dark you know and a good way to have an understanding and to get to know yourself is going into hermit mode that is you checking in with number one checking in with your higher self this is where you know visions and epiphanies and things can come to you okay it's going to give you direction it's going to guide you um, down the path that you need to be on some of you you need to know what direction to go in and you're going to find that direction in hermit mode a hidden truth is going to come to you in hermit mode okay and it also allows you to be patient with yourself as well as the process boy a lot of spiritual energies coming through here i'm telling you all right so we have the magician the energy of gemini and virgo and then we have the prince of swords okay this is gemini libra and aquarius energy now this is going back you guys to i feel like for those of you that you know you are in a situation where you are manifesting you're you're needing to make a change you're you're wanting to cause change and i feel like you're going to make it happen um you know the magician is all about you know you using the tools from your spiritual tool belt that is within you to create what it is that you want okay because we are creators all you know this is you setting your intention speaking your intentions using clear communication okay and standing in that truth believing it claiming it okay this is you once you're done you know communicating your desires you are no longer going to go backwards and say I hope I get this or I want to keep saying I want to manifest this instead you say I have manifested this I have this you have it already and you act accordingly you act and you live like it has happened it's there okay then you take the steps that's needed to you know get in that's going to get you closer to achieving that that goal that vision all right it's very important if you are manifesting something and you like let's say with the leo full moon you're let's say you're trying to manifest a job all right well you need to stand in that and say well i have manifested a job i have a job and not you know two days from now go back and go i hope this works i i hope i'll get a job don't say that say you already have it that's important and i feel like with this prince of swords this is definitely taking action using you know power with intent uh some of you i definitely feel like there is some news coming in here that is going to get your feathers all ruffled up all right and it's going to put you in a mode where you're going to stand up and it's that i'm not backing down okay energy you're going to make sure that whoever is contacting you communicating with you they know exactly how you feel and what your truth is I do feel like right here some of you are definitely thinking about going back to school I don't feel like this is like a normal you know regular school I feel like this would be like a spiritual uh, like a spiritual path or journey that you're you know are gonna group up with people maybe they're on the same path or taking the same thing 
whether it be Reiki, some type of healing. Maybe you're going to be uh, seeing a, a spiritual teacher or a mentor that is going to show you things. It's that kind of learning that I'm picking up on here. You're seeking. You're seeking the unknown. You're seeking the hidden right here. Because you want to know you thirst for knowledge. Wow, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> love it. All right, you guys. What a powerful reading. All right, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. All right? And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.